I think it's going. Maybe it's not. Hey guys, how are you? Um, I know it's been a couple of months since I've made a video, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna make so many videos. And I always lie. But I just wanted to fill you guys in on my life. So, um, I have been out in California for a couple of months now. Um, I actually really dislike the school that I'm at, but my job's my job is a job and it really helps with the cost of going to school and I'm working hard to get my degree so it's gonna work out and next school year I will go back to the Midwest get my degree and peace now which is a good thing I'm really jealous of Sue's cuz uh, she gets to graduate in like a month or something ridiculous I'm really jealous so done with school. Um, so Nate and I are good. Life is good on the home front. Um, he just finished his, um, this really freaking long, uh, field op. It was like four weeks, I think. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I should say, but it, I won't say the name of the actual field op title, but it was really cool. It was, they had like live fire and like, I don't know, I guess it's pretty cool. Nate obviously was not able to talk to me more than like twice during it, which kind of sucked, but you know, I talked to him a couple times. So it's funny though, because now that I see him almost every weekend, it's like going through withdrawals if I don't talk to him for like a few days when it's so silly. Or if I don't see him for a month, I'm like, God, it was so long. But I forget that we've done like four and a half, five months without seeing each other. So it's all relevant, I suppose. Um, it is November 1st, so I'm officially torn in my bitches. It was my birthday yesterday, and I had a pretty good day. Nate and I, we, um, drove back to my college, and we watched movies all day. We cuddled, and, um, you'd think we'd go out and, like, drink and stuff, but we were recover recovering from the night before. We had a really fun Halloween party with, um, one of Nate's co-workers and his wife. They host at their house was really cool. I got to meet um, some more of his co-workers. They were really great guys. So it was cool meeting them. And um, now that it is now November, it means that it's Marine Corps ball time. It's like my favorite time of year because the Marine Corps ball is like a very dignified prom for big kids. And for big kids, I mean, you can drink. I also mean that it's a lot more elegant, and the goal is not to be trashy, but to be classy. And I know that a lot of girls have been asking me more about the Marine Corps Ball. And so I just wanted to say my couple cents of, in, of experience and knowledge. I've only gone to one ball, so I can't really say a whole lot, you know. But from what I noticed, um, most of the girls wore long dresses, like floor-length gowns. Um, if you're going for the big prom poofy ball gown look, you're gonna look silly. Um, if you're going for some slutty look, you're gonna look slutty. Um, and a lot of girls did buy new dresses, but I think if you had a normal looking um, prom dress from high school and it still fits, like, work it. So, um, colors that look really good with the dress blues are black, white, or like cream, um, obviously red and different shades of blue. I don't know if like light blue would look like awesome, but you know, royal blue or dark blue or like navy blue, all those would look really pretty. So that's just, I saw a lot of girls with those dresses last year. And um, I am one tall girl. I am 5'10 or 5'11. I am very tall. Nate, uh, my boyfriend is 6'2, 6'3. So we're both really tall. So when I was thinking like, oh, Marine Corps ball, we're good. I brought heels and I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm still shorter than Nate. Like I like wearing heels. I feel sexy. Um, Marines are little men. Like, I don't know if we breed them bigger in the Midwest or what goes down, but they are little in my experience. They're all like five, six. And if your man is five, six, that's totally fine. I just was not expecting them. I just thought that all Marines were like these big, tall, strong guys. And they're all pretty buff and they're all pretty strong. But 
some of them are just short. So if you're tall, you should not wear heels because I felt very self-conscious the entire night. So I changed to my flats because I brought them with, that's, I thought ahead, but I didn't think about that. I thought about like the back of my heels and how awful my feet would feel after, you know, standing for a while. But this year, planning ahead, wearing the flats. They're actually really cute sandals that I stole from my baby sister. So, so cute. I want to show you guys my dress. Um, I know you guys won't be able to see it very well. I'm kind of scared, so let me know what your opinion is on it. I went to, um, what was it, Macy's? Macy's or Von Mar, like, in the end of May when I got out of school. And I went after prom season for the high schoolers. And I found a dress that was originally $200, and I got it for $19. 19 one nine. And I was like, um, I don't care if it's ugly. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to wear it because I cannot afford to get like a $300 dress next October. So here's my dress. It's bright pink. It's a Jessica McClintock. Um, it kind of has like a, like a mermaidy, a little bit of a, like a flare at the bottom and it's floor length and it like hikes up a little bit in the front, um, to show off a little bit of like the calves area. So hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know how it looks in the webcam. Okay. So this is the top where my boobies will go. And then down here, like this part is open and it like flares down. And then the back is just straight. It has a little, little bit of poof, but it's pretty sleek. I like it. Um, Nate's favorite color is pink, which is, you know, very straight and manly, but, um, he really likes it, and I like pink, too, so I figured I don't really care if it matches the blues very well, as long as he thinks I look good, and I think I look good, then we're, we're good. So that was a lot of talk for not a whole lot of substance, so I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if there's anything else new with me. No, not really. Um, my family just came out to visit me, which was really cool, so I got to show them around California, and, um, Nate and I have been hanging out with his grandparents who live in San Diego, and they've essentially adopted me as their grandchild, which is really nice because I love them, and we are going there for Thanksgiving because we're not flying home, and, uh, oh, I have another question for you girls out there. Okay. Um, have, okay, are there any military, um, either girlfriends or fiancés who have flown home with their men, um, like, and gone through the airport with them? Because I know that with the military ID, Nate never wears his uniform when he's on the plane, because he is just, he whines and bitches whenever he's in his uniform anyway. But, um, he just, you know, he has his backpack and his, um military ID and he gets like he gets like first class seating and he gets like walked through to like the pilot entrance and stuff they're like royalty when it comes to airports which god bless our troops I'm all about I'm just wondering if that's gonna work for us when we try and fly home together because he's like oh well you know we'll get seats together blah 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 I am thinking that we will not because I'm going to have to go through normal, normal security, normal baggage claim, wait in all the lines and not fly first class. So we will definitely see. But if you guys have ever flown with your guys, I want to know how military ID works if you're not a dependent and if you don't have a military ID. So let me know with those two questions and yeah, we'll talk later. See you guys later.